All right, we're live. What's up, guys? Wait for some people to join in here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully everyone's doing good, uh, staying safe. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good day today. A lot's been going on lately. Um, what's up, man? What's going on, guys? How you guys are doing? What's going on, guys? Um, so as you guys know, the Sweet Magnolias trailer dropped today. Um, and it's super duper exciting. Um, I'm sure you guys all, uh, watched. If you haven't, it's on my page. Go check it out. The full trailer is in the link in my bio. Um, so go check that out and go to the Netflix, uh, page on Netflix. Go to Netflix, type in Sweet Magnolias, click it, add it to your wish list, give it a thumbs up. Um, that definitely helps us out a lot. What's up, guys? Um, so I'll get to the questions in a little bit. We got a lot of questions and you guys can ask questions, uh, in the chat right there. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, go on here live and, and talk about the new, uh, trailer that dropped. I'm super excited for you guys to see it. What's going on, guys? Um, I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Um, you know, we all work super hard for this and, um, you know, we have a lot of people that are, that are loving it already and, uh, fan pages are already going up. A lot of people are enjoying it. So that's just, it's amazing because, you know, we, I personally can't wait for you guys to see it. You know, like I said, we put our heart and soul into this project and, um, it's just absolutely incredible. I've been lucky, you know, luckily enough to, uh, um, actually see some of the footage and, uh, it is just amazing. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. And, you know, the thing about me too is, uh, what's going on guys? We've got a lot of people joining in. Um, the thing is about me, I'm a very critical actor, like, I self-criticize really, really bad, I, um, I basically almost can't even watch myself, but, you know, from everything that I've seen so far with Sweet Magnolias, it's all been amazing, and everybody else on the show has been incredible, and if you guys are really into that drama, um, it's almost like soapy, almost, um, but there's a lot of comedy in it, there's a lot of heart in it, it's a very wholesome, um, show and i think a lot of you guys are really really gonna enjoy it um and uh it's just it's amazing i cannot wait it's so exciting uh we have i think yeah actually from today it's two more weeks um it's just it's getting closer and closer and i was actually talking with uh with carson roland he was uh who plays my brother in the show i was talking with him the other day and we were like saying you know it, if it feels like yesterday when we were filming like it's it's almost it's unbelievable that we actually filmed this almost a year ago it's it's unbelievable. I'm I'm rocking my sweet Magnolia's hoodie right now. Um, but uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, like I said, for everybody joining in, uh, I will be answering the questions in a little bit. So stick around and ask any questions in the chat too. I'll definitely get to. Um, but I was talking with Carson, and like like I said, it just it, it's unbelievable how you know fast this past year has gone. It's 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 amazing. It's, it's incredible. And um, but I guess that's you know what happens when you're shooting some something and. And when you're doing something that you love so much, it just goes by way too quick. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, Creep Show will be out on AMC in, uh, in a week. And then you have, um, Sweet Magnolias in two weeks. So, yes, this week or this month has been crazy. Um, it's been super busy for me. Uh, it's been, it's been wild. But, I mean, I'm super blessed to, to be in this position. Like, two projects in one month is unbelievable. Also, another cool thing on May 19th, which is when Sweet Magnolias comes out, uh, Creep Show will be out on Blu-ray May 19th as well, so that's really exciting. So we got Blu-ray Creep Show coming out May 19th, and of course, Sweet Magnolias on Netflix on May 19th. Another thing I've been meaning to do is, or I will, what I will do, is um, when Sweet Magnolias drops on Netflix, or maybe a day before, I will uh, go out live with some of the other uh, stars on the show. You know, we'll answer some questions. We'll ch uh, chat a little bit. Um, and I think that would be really, really cool and fun. Um, so I'll definitely hit them up, and we will do a live with some of the other stars. Um, and I think that would be really, really awesome. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I really had to say there. And, uh, oh, what's going on? And uh, that's really all I uh, have to say there. Um, but I'm really, really excited for that. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that because I will be doing um, Instagram Live with some other um, stars of the show. Um, and I think that would be really cool because you guys can chat with all your favorite stars and it will just be really, really cool. So let's jump right into the questions. Like I said, if you guys got any questions, go and uh, put them in the chat and uh, we will do that. Um, and I'll answer the questions in the chat. So let's see. This one's really cool. Uh, this one is 
Are you feeling nervous or excited about the show coming up? It's really a mixture of both and a combination. Like, I'm really, really nervous, but I'm really, really excited because from the footage that I've seen, it has been amazing. And it's, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And I, it, I really couldn't have pictured it any better. Um, and, but nervous, like, I'm, I am really nervous. I am super nervous because I want to make you guys happy. I want to, um, you know, I want you guys to, um, you know, just, I want you guys to be happy with, with my work. And, um, uh, so that, that's basically, like I said, a mixture of the two there. Uh, let's see if I missed any questions. There has been a couple. Uh, what made you want to get into acting? You know, it was funny because the way I got into acting um, was through a mutual friend. She was like, you know, you need to get into it. We weren't really sure about it because nobody else in my family is an actor or actress. Um, but luckily, through the mutual friend or the friend, uh, we um, got it going there. And really, because all my life, I didn't think I was going to be an actor. But when I started doing it, it's something that I, I loved. You know what I mean? I think every kid wants to be on TV, right? But then when I really started doing it and started, you know, doing different, uh, uh, you know, little magazines, you know, modeling and doing commercials and stuff, I knew that this is what I want to do. And um, that's kind of how, you know, it kind of went up from there, basically. And then uh, I got my first big gig in 2015, the Nickelodeon show, Talia in the Kitchen. And um, that was just, that was amazing. That really, when I got that role, I knew this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And um, so that answers your question there. Uh, the next one is, uh, I feel like, let's see, what is the show about? Um, the show is about Maddie Townsend, who's played by Joanna Garcia. She's a, in Swisher. She is amazing. If you guys don't know who she is, go check her out. She is amazing, an amazing actress, and uh, she's just incredible. So it's about her, and she's going through a divorce right now. Um, and the show is basically, you know, just her trying to deal with the divorce um, and uh, with her two lifelong friends that she's had since kindergarten. Um, and they all live in. We all live in the small town of Serenity, South Carolina. And the thing about Serenity is, like I said, it's a very small town. So with this whole divorce thing going on, everybody knows about it. And um, it causes a lot of different things to happen. And I play one of Maddie's kids. Um, So, you know, even though I'm not necessarily involved in the whole divorce thing, I'm still having to deal with a lot of, you know, a lot of the stuff going on. And so is really everybody else in the show um, that's actually close to Maddie. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff in the show. There's so many things going on in the storyline, but that's kind of the main, uh, main plot. Um, let's see. Thank you, Hank. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, the True Moo commercial. That was amazing. Yeah, that was, uh, like my first big commercial I did. Um, and that was really cool because I got to drink chocolate milk all day. And yes, the... The leather jacket and the bike. That was great. Um, another thing I want to mention. I have a lot of different uh, interviews out. So I know I'm answering a lot of questions on here. But if you guys want like more info on my career. You know if you guys want a more depth like you know story on how I started out acting. You guys can go check out some magazines I've done. Um, I put them all on my story. Um, you know there's all types of ones. And just make sure you guys check out my story. And every time I post a magazine go check it out. Because there are different questions each and every time, and there are different answers each and every time. So go check that out. You'll learn a lot about me, and I think you guys will, will love it. What's going on, man? Um, let's go to another question here. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, someone asked about my quarantine. Um, so I'm assuming that's what, what she's saying there. Um, so yeah, my quarantine's great, uh, especially now. Um, they gifted us with the awesome... Uh, Sweet Magnolias trailer, and uh, that was really, really awesome. Um, and I've just been basically watching Netflix the entire time. Um, you know, doing school too, trying to get as much school as I can get done. Which, you know, I'm procrastinating a lot, but it is what it is, I guess. You know, um, but mainly, like I said, watching Netflix. Excuse me, uh, kicking back, and uh, you know, just I live on a a ranch about I think 40 acres. Uh, so we have all types of different animals to take care of too. Um, so I'm taking care of all the animals and stuff. So that, that's basically my day, uh, in quarantine. Um, Shane, hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Hopefully you're doing good.
I talked with Brayden, by the way. I heard you guys are doing good. That's great, man. Hope you guys are staying safe. Um, Tina said, which actor did you learn from the most working with on Sweet Magnolias? That's tough because I think everybody, um, I think everybody, I learned a little something from everybody, I guess. It was, it was amazing. I don't think there's anyone really in specific. Everybody was so great on set and everybody was, was so talented. And luckily you guys will see, I work with basically every, every character on the show. So I got to hang out with everybody. I got to learn different stuff from everybody. Everybody has different acting styles. Their approach to the script, their approach to the character is something that, you know, every actor, um, not just me, can, can learn from. So I don't think there's any actor or, or actress in specific um, that I, you know, specifically learned something from. I think everybody I, I learned a little bit from. And luckily, I was able to work with that many people. Um, yes, yeah, Simone, definitely, definitely. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the live. Oh, didn't want to do that. Um, so, like I said, for everybody watching now, you guys can go ask any questions. I'm answering all types of questions. Counting Sweet Magnolias. Um, uh, so you guys got any, uh, Sweet Magnolias questions? That light's really bright. There we go. Um, if you guys got any Sweet Magnolias questions, go ahead and ask them in the chat. Uh, so let's, uh, we got some more questions here. Um, let's see. Uh, someone said, oh, am I from the East Coast? Yes, I live in or around Orlando, Florida, Central Florida area. Um, and I live on a little, I guess, ranch down here. Uh, we have all different types of, of animals and stuff. Um, so yeah, I live, I live in Florida. And luckily I live in Florida because we got all types of stuff to do down here. Um, you know, we have the beaches, the theme parks. Uh, I wish the movie industry was a little bit bigger down here. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Georgia's not that far of a drive. And Georgia is where I filmed Sweet Magnolia's Atlanta and Creep Show. Um, so that's a pretty cool fact there. Um, uh, Thank you. I, I'm excited too. Um, so let's see. Yeah, Florida's great, man. I, I absolutely love it. Um, someone said, "Let's got this one right here." Is it difficult to audition for Netflix shows, movies? The thing about auditioning is, is I have my agent slash manager who sends me on the stuff. So if they, for example, if casting directors send out a thing saying, "Hey," We want a kid that, you know, for example, me, has dark features, you know, uh, brown hair, brown eyes, and around 15 years old. Well, I would fit that, you know, um, I, I, would, I would fit that description. So they would, you know, send me on the audition, and uh, they would give me a script or whatever, and I would read it. I would self-tape it and then send it to them, and if they really like me, then I will go in for a callback, and that's where I get in front of the director or producers on the show. Um, so, you know, I don't really get a necessarily – pick what I auditioned for. I just got really lucky with this one. And uh, like I said, I, I've just got super lucky with this show. Everybody is just amazing. That rodeo life. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Uh Oh, sweet Magnolia's rooms in here. What's up, guys? How are y'all? What's going on? Let's see what else we got. Oh, this one's good. Oh, uh, who is my favorite actor? Oh, uh, man. Um, that's way too tough. I don't have a favorite actor. Um, there's so many. Actually, I answered that question in one of my um, magazines I did, in one of my interviews on one of the magazines. Actually, a couple of the magazines I did. So, um, I mean, I guess to... to Man, I don't know. Um, John Kransiski, I think that's his last name right, is amazing. Uh, I absolutely love him. Christian Bale, amazing. Um, all those guys. I mean, like I said, I, I can go on. I mean, you got Adam Sandler, you know, you got Jim Carrey, you got all those guys that, that I love. So I don't think there's anybody in specific, um, that I really, I mean, everybody, there's, there's so many. Would you want to audition for the Netflix live action Avatar? You know what? I've never, I haven't seen the Avatar movie or I haven't seen really any of the Avatar stuff. Um, but I need to. I've actually, a couple of my friends been telling me to get into it. I need to. But like I say on all my lives, when I start watching a, a Netflix series, and you guys are going to be just like this with Sweet Magnolias, I'm telling you guys, I rewatch the same thing over and over and over again. And it, I mean, it's great because I love the show or shows, but I don't get to new series or new films or anything. So I definitely won't get to Avatar. I'm just, I just get stuck on shows. And right now, oof. Let me tell you guys, you guys are going to love Sweet Magnolias, and you'll definitely get stuck on it. So, 
Thanks for that question. I appreciate it. Um, oh, didn't want to chat. Uh, how do you learn your lines, and is it hard to remember them? You know, um, I learn my lines by just writing them down. Um, you know, usually just give me a couple days, and I'll have it down. Um, depending on what scene it is, if it's like a really intense scene, I might need you know maybe three days, but um, usually I can memorize them in you know a day or two. Um, I just write them down, go over them over and over again, keep on reading them with people. Um, but you know, it, I mean, really, it, it's just it's about you know, and sometimes even when you memorize your lines, you know, you, you still mess up a little bit on set. But I think the best way to learn them for me is to write them down, read over them fifteen, twenty times, just keep on reading over the lines, and um, that's just the best way to memorize them for me. Any agency recommendation? It depends on what area you're in. I only lived in the Orlando area, so I really um, don't have any ones outside of Orlando just because I've lived here my whole life. Um, so I don't think there's any like national agency that I can really think of. I have a couple here in Orlando. The animated avatar. That's cool, man. Got you, Parker. Have a good one, man. Do you prank people on set? You know... There wasn't a lot of pranks on set. Uh, I was actually thinking of doing a few, but, but I, we never got around to it. Um, but we definitely, I, for season two, if we if there is a season two, we'll definitely be doing some pranks on set. Um, yeah, so Carson, Annalise, if you guys are watching this, you guys better be careful. Just give me some pranks on if there is a season two. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do some more questions here. Um, let's see what we have. Do, 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 do. Uh, what part? Oh, what part of South Carolina is it based in? It's based in Serenity. Serenity isn't a real city. I don't think. No, Serenity is not a real city. Um, I don't think so. Uh, it's just the the whole the whole show is based off uh, a book from Cheryl Woods. If you guys haven't read the books, read them. Um, they're, they're amazing. Um, but uh, definitely, I, I don't think it's it's a real um, city or town. But it'll feel like a real town and city when you watch this. I'm telling you, it's like, I, I was actually uh, uh, talking to my mom earlier. Like, when you watch, you know, even little clips, you want to be in this town. Like, they make it so likable. And, like, you, you just want to be in, the, in Serenity so bad. It's amazing. You guys are going to love the show. I'm telling you, you guys are going to absolutely love it because I love it. The Gator Way. What's up, man? Go Gators. Actually, speaking of Gators, I have a Gator question if you're still here, bro. Let's see what this one is. Um, let's see. Uh, where was it? Favorite all-time Gators players. Man, UF, University of Florida. Y'all know what's up. Uh, Percy Harvin's definitely up there. Jeff Demps. Um, Javon Curse too. Oh, my gosh. So underrated. Emmett Smith, uh, you know, Tebow, uh, Leak. Um, there's so many. Brandon Spikes. Like the 08, 06 era was so good. So good. So amazing. Yeah, Percy Harvin was great. Yeah, Tim Tebow, yeah. Uh, Daniel Warfel, too. There, there's so many. West Chandler. Oh, my. There's so many. There, I, I'm just going to keep on going on and on. There's so many great, awesome uh, Gator players um, out there. Uh, Darius Cummings. What's up, man? That's my boy. Um... He was great, too. I think he was uh, played from about uh, 2014, around that time. Um, it's late. Yeah, it is, bro. How you doing, man? All right, let's answer some more. Uh, get back to some sweet magnolias. Um, also, another thing, guys. Uh, Bernie the Dolphin, which is one of uh, the films I did. I think it's actually Bernie the Dolphin 2, just came out in Italy. Um, so all my Italian people out there, uh, make sure you guys go get Bernie the Dolphin 2. Just dropped out in Italy. Excuse me. Um, make sure you guys go check that out. Burning the Dolphin 2 is so much fun. I think it is as good, if not better, than Burning the Dolphin 1. It is amazing. You get more Kevin Sorbo, which is always amazing and great. Uh, great, great actor. Great, great guy. Um, so make sure you guys, um, all you, uh, Italian people out there, go check it out. It's amazing. You guys will love it. And even, if, I mean, wherever you are in the world, if you guys haven't watched Burning the Dolphin 1 or 2, go check it out. It's a great family film to watch with, you know, your kids or, or the little ones. It's a fun one. It's a great one. Good agencies in the Orlando area. Um, there's a lot. Uh, 
there's um there's some great ones. Um, I really enjoy you know you have uh, uh, Bavar Talent Group, Clark Agency. There's some amazing ones out there that I think you guys are gonna or if you you know are interested in it, uh, Bavar Talent Group, Clark Agency. Those are great ones to to go and try. Those are the ones I started out with and they've got me where I am today. Um, so definitely go check them out. Um, how do you feel about Tom Brady coming to Tampa? That's really cool. That's really awesome. Uh, you know, I've been a Buck fan, really. You know, I grew up a Buck fan because, like I said, I live in the Orlando area, so they're like the hometown team, basically. So there's a lot of bandwagons now, but, you know, that, that's expected. So we got Brady and Gronk coming in. So, you know, I really, really hope the Bucks can do something because we haven't been able to do something since the early 2000s. So I really hope we get going again and get better as a team. Um, let's see. Will there be a Bernie 3? Yeah, uh, no, I, I don't know, man. Um, the first two films were great to watch the family. Bernie 3, uh, I haven't heard anything yet, um, but, uh, you know, you never know. You never know. We'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. But yes, Bernie Dolphin 1 and 2, great family films. It's amazing. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, if you could work with any actor or actress, who would you pick? That's like the favorite actor question. I don't know. It, it's so tough. Like, oh man, that's just, that's, oh man, that's way too hard. Like I said, I can't remember what interview it was, but all these interviews I'm dropping on my story, go check it out because I'm answering a lot of these questions for you guys. Um, and I answer that question who I'd like to work with specifically in one of the interviews and I put like 20 to 25 different actors and actresses down. Uh, so go check that out. Um, but I don't really necessarily know a specific one. Pretty much like who I'd mentioned. I mean, you know, everybody from Adam Sandler. I mean, I love David Spade too. Jim Carrey, Christian Bale, John Krasinski. Uh, you got Daniel Harris, who I, uh, I love. Um, and there's just, there's amazing, amazing people out there. You got Kevin Hart, The Rock. There, there's, there's too many. There's way too many that uh, I'm, I can't even, it's, it's, it's crazy. What's going on, guys? How you doing? What's going on, Edgar? I think The Rock and Kevin Hart would be so much fun. Yes, definitely. Their personalities, you just, you can't beat. It's amazing. Um, someone asked this question. What age did you start acting at? Great question. I started acting at around eight. I think eight, eight years old is when I started acting. Um, I started out with modeling um, and commercials, um, but mostly modeling. My first model, uh, model job, what, my first project in general was a Bell's, um, it's like a Bell's photo shoot. And I was up on like the little photos, little, not the billboards, but like the little posters inside, uh, inside Bell's. I was one of those posters. Um, so that was my first little project I did, uh, was the Bell's commercial. And I was back, like I said, 2011, 20, maybe 2012 act. Yeah. 20, yeah. 2011, 2012 around there. That's crazy. It's crazy to think about, but I started out with that and, uh, that was my first thing. Hey, how's it going? We got one of the awesome writers in here. How are you? All right, let's, uh, let's see. Like I said, if you guys got any questions, keep on asking them right there in the chat. Um, let's see. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's see what we got. Getting a lot of uh, uh, creep show things too. That's amazing. Like I said, um, happy trailer day. Yes, yes, happy trailer day. You guys are. Oh my gosh, you guys did such a good job. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you something. The, the just the the production on this project with Sweet Magnolias is incredible. It's amazing. Everything from the writing. It's like. The writing, the lighting, the directing. We have three amazing directors. Uh, oh, the lighting's kind of weird. Sorry. We have three amazing directors uh, throughout the uh, throughout the show that did such a good job. It's amazing. From all the footage that I've seen, it's just it's 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 unbelievable. Like like I said, just seeing everything come to life. I can only imagine what it is for uh, for the writers um, and. Even Cheryl Woods, the writer, like the original, like person that uh, wrote the original book series, like just seeing all this come to live, you know, on TV and on Netflix, May nineteenth, it's amazing. It's it's unbelievable. Let me actually, uh, actually, I won't do that right. Um, but um, yes, it it's unbelievable to uh, to see um, 
to see it actually all come to life. And the soundtrack, oh my gosh, it is so good. The soundtrack, like, it's like such an emotional thing. It's just, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Hits you in your feels. Yeah, Norman Buckley uh, wasn't the only director. Um, there was a couple of uh, the two other ones, too, that were amazing, amazing, amazing uh, directors. What are your plans for the future? What are my plans for the future? Trying to stay busy. Um, you know, obviously during quarantine, no one's really shooting anything right now, but hopefully, uh, you know, um, some projects will come. And, you know, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But uh, I'm super excited to see what, what's going to happen with my future. Um, like I said, I'm trying to stay busy, uh, trying to, uh, you know, um, you know, just keep on doing as much stuff as I possibly can. And um, But right now, I need you guys to make sure you guys are sharing the trailer like I said, click on the link in my bio. You guys go right to the Netflix um, site and write to Sweet Magnolias. Add it to your wish list. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. Share it with all your family because this is one of those shows that doesn't just like – it appeals to all, all, like all audiences. Can't speak. Sorry. Um, not just adults. You know what I mean? Not just kids. Everybody. You can sit here with your grandparents, your parents, you – and, and anybody, you know, that's a, a higher age or lower age, it doesn't matter. Everybody can sit down and watch this amazing, just incredible show. And and it's something super special that I can tell everybody that worked on it put their heart into. And it's it's amazing. Where do you want your acting, where do you want your career to go? Well, acting, definitely. I think acting is my number one um, passion, you know, where I wanted to go, but I would like directing, directing is really cool, I think I have a good, you know, I personally think I have a good eye, you know, um, I'm always watching movies, watching films, and just seeing different ways, or different ways I would have done it, um, so, you know, I mean, directing would be really cool, writing would be really cool too, um, you know, I would, excuse me, I would love to write also, I know I need a haircut. I know, bro. I, I need a bad, but it, that, that's why I'm wearing the hoodie. It's all this. It's way too much. But let me tell you something. As soon as I can get a haircut, definitely getting it because it is my hair is way too long. As long as it's been in such a long time. But yes, I will get a haircut. See you, man. You have a good one. It's like Disney World. Yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys. I mean, there. Like I said, this month. Um, those are basically all the, uh, questions, uh, that you guys asked. Um, so you guys got any more, like I said, go ahead and ask them in the chat right there. Any questions about Sweet Magnolias, but I'm going to go over it one more time. Sweet Magnolias dropping May 19th. The trailer is on my uh, Instagram page. Go check it out. Go give it a like, share it. There it is. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Sweet Magnolias, like I said, uh, May 19th creep show. Out. Well, actually, Creep Show came out yesterday. It aired on AMC yesterday, but it'll be out May 11th. My episode will air on May 11th on Creep on AMC uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Um, so make sure you guys go check out that because I'm a big horror fan. I love it. Uh, Greg Nicotero, David Bruckner, all those guys did such a good job with that. And um, I think you guys, if you guys haven't seen Creep Show yet, make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. Creep Show will also be hitting Blu-ray uh, May 19th as well. Same thing as Sweet Magnolias. Make sure you guys check out that. Um, <laughs> so make sure you guys go check out that. And um, yeah, also Burning the Dolphin, like I said, well, is out in, uh, in Italy right now. So go check that out. If you're in Italy, go buy it. Watch it with your family, um, especially during this time. It's a good way to get your mind off things and just sit back and really enjoy the awesome, uh, awesome family film of Burning the Dolphin 1 and 2. Um, oh, yeah, another question was about if Sweet Magnolias was going to get a season 2. Um, you know, I really hope so. I really, really hope so. Um, I, like I said, working with all these people uh, was amazing and incredible, and it was a dream of mine to work with some of the people that I, I, I worked with. And now I'm like, I, I'm, I'm regularly talking with these people. Like it's, it blows my mind and it's such, it's just such a blessing that I'm even here and, and doing what I'm doing. 
Um, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, Justin Bieber. I get that quite a bit. Thank you. Appreciate it. But, um, that's what I have going on this month. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna end this pretty soon. Uh, but like I said, uh, Sweet Magnolias, May 19th, Creep Show, May 11th on AMC, and uh, Bernie the Dolphin out in Italy. Go check it out. You guys are gonna love it. Also, all my little interviews I'm doing, I have even more interviews coming up with all types of stuff, and I'm gonna be constantly posting that on my story. Uh, I'm, I'm probably actually gonna start saving that to my, like, one of my little story highlights so you guys, so you guys can, uh, <laughs> so you guys can see it i really appreciate it y'all have a good one and uh i'll see you guys later